I ne need to return to Appalachia. Well, not Appalachia. Uh, Foundry. Founders. For show. No. Oh, I. Great. Closer. Yeah, kind of. I'm over encumbered by what? Talk to... I can't even... This is going to take a bit.
clearly about to die. I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this place right here. Am I still over? I'm still encumbered. Transfer. Okay, now I can probably go and fast travel, right? Into here. Finally, geez. Just that just took ten minutes.
Boundary supply room. Okay. Back to the supply room, shall we go? I'm sorry I didn't come back right away. I was scared. But that Brotherhood member showed up and... Well, speak of the devil. Mike was just telling us about what happened out there. I can't believe it. All those boys just... It's a lot to take in. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Help. Well, I see you've got our weapons. You could start by giving them back. I told you, we bought them fair and square. Tad, enough! We still need to find a way to work with these people. I think... I think we should try and wrap up business between us now. We're going to need to tell those families about... What happened? I know it's hard to think about at a time like this, but settling on a deal and having you on your way is probably for the best. Now then, I understand you'll want to take these weapons back with you, but that won't work for us. They cost us too many caps to just let go. Unfortunately, regardless of where they came from before, they're our property now, and they'll need to stay with us. <sighs> You jack-booted piece of shit! You... aren't serious, are you? That's not a very funny... <sighs> Whoa, for real? Damn. We can make that work. Okay then, it's a deal. Please let Paladin Romani know. I don't think this is a good idea. Those weapons, I, we lost our guys because of them. Anyway, thank you again. I'm glad this worked out. <sighs> I hope I this out. was the right choice. Stop by again sometime. Uh, I hope this was the right choice. Uh, hope I don't get scolded. Reprimanded. Into Fort Atlas. Don't want to go to the exterior. gonna be okay with this. Gosh darn it. If she's not Keep crap. Welcome back, Initiate. I was just discussing the missile launcher matter with Night Shin here. I imagine you're here to report on your dealings with Foundation. <sighs> well then, don't keep us waiting. Initiate! Have you lost your mind? Those weapons are extremely dangerous, and you've handed them over to a group of civilians? Do you understand nothing of what the Brotherhood stands for? You may place your trust in Foundation, but there are other things to consider beyond the danger of the weapons. What if they're stolen or sold again? Weaponry with a Brotherhood crest used to kill innocents? 
think of how that would reflect on our organization. Who would trust us? Who would allow us to be here? How? Uh. That's your concern. How we're seen. What about the danger those weapons pose? That's enough, Knight. I know all too well how dangerous these weapons can be. Initiate? I'm disappointed in you. I would have expected more. Here's a reward for the effort put in, but I can't say I'm impressed. Paladin, maybe we should check in with Scribe Valdez. She had mentioned wanting to bring something important to our attention. That's right. Initiate, please let the Scribe know we're ready for her. Night Shin and I have a few things to discuss in the meantime. Or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. Iceland is hell. Watch us. Have you talked to the others recently? I've been trying to get a moment with them, but things are still so busy. Seems our time slots never align. Then it's my lucky day. Come with me. Find, protect, and preserve. I can do it. Uh oh boy. So much to teach us. I screw up. I hope I'll get to meet them in person. Paladin, Knight, you'll want to hear this. I picked up a low frequency signal in the area. It's weak, but I'm close to narrowing down the coordinates. If we can find and boost the source of that signal, we might be able to use it to get in touch with California. That's excellent news, Scribe Valdez. Follow up with me as soon as you have the coordinates. What's this about? I thought I made it clear that our first priority is strengthening our presence in Appalachia. My apologies, Paladin. The Knight kept talking about Elder Maxim's orders, so I set up a signal tracer to run in the background. It was my own initiative. This isn't a field trip, Paladin. When we left, Elder Maxim ordered us to restore communications as soon as we arrived in Appalachia. You've delayed that order long enough. We have to cut ourselves free from America Since to rebuild our arrival, America. Every last ounce of my effort has gone toward establishing the Brotherhood as an effective force of action in Appalachia. Everything we've done here has been necessary. And before Valdez's report, we had no leads on a long-distance communicator. We would still have no leads if it were up to you. Enough, shit. We have a lead now. Let's focus on that. You said you're close to tracking down the signal, Valdez? Why don't we have our reliable initiate assist you? Okay. I'll be in my workshop when you're ready. <sighs> I can sense the sarcasm in that. I hope my next mission is soon. I'm tired of being stuck in Fort Atlas. Prove my worth. We are really fixing this place up, don't you think? Sorry you had to see that. Let's get down to business, shall we? If we can find the source of the signal I detected, we should be able to use it to send a message to Elder Maxon on the West Coast. I tracked the signal to an area northwest of Vault 76. You'll need to go and check it out in person. Maybe you'll get lucky. But I suspect the source of the transmission will be easy to find. Devices that transmit at this frequency are rare. The only ones I know of were built at advanced military facilities. Stay safe out there. We'll be right on your tail. New recruits, night shins training. What the Great. Locate.
I'm over cumbered again? Why? I'm full of health. Just so that I can um, travel. <sighs> Locate the transmitter facility. that Um, Close to where I need to go. Um, 
more tree am I going? Going this way. Side objective area. Wow, son. Did you look at that? I never thought I'd see one. Man, this day is full of surprises. First, this darn vault door lands here. Now you've come to collect it. Well, going by the number, I'd say this is from Vault 63. My buddy told me that it's located in the ash heap. I can mark it on your map. If you do make your way down there, stay safe. I heard it's overrun with mole miners. And the ash heap itself is barely breathable without a mask. And one wrong step, my charcoal roast your foot. That aside, there's been a crazy storm brewing down that way. Doubt it's related. I think I'll steer clear myself all the same. Okay. You bet. Safe travel, stranger. Hey, you're that vault dweller I hear so much about. Uh. Prepare to respond, I am coming yet. What the frick is this? Ow! Ow! Uh, 
How is my HP doing? This is these. Objective area. Oh. I'm not doing this. here We're Voltec personnel, but we're just double troubles. What the heck happened here? Vault 63 discovered. What? Um. Uh, huh? Enter. Vault. Uh, 
What happened to you? armor eight. I have more questions than I have answers to right now.
Uh, I have more questions than I've answered. <laughs> How big is this? <laughs> How big is Vault 63 for Pete's sake? Where the heck am I going? Uh, where am I going? Ah, oh, okay. Huh. Ah, uh, huh. Uh, no. Can I? I'm gonna fast. I'm gonna have to fast travel, jeez. Okay. Mm. Explain. Ammunition is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's definitely a storm. 
say the least. Uh. Nope. 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 Heading into the heart of the storm. I don't think that's a good idea, but not <laughs> not much we can do about it. Welcome to the heart of the store. I need to see a doctor. Right, maybe this that scientist person could help. Uh this is Mongol. Running drains my AP. Well, uh, it's a good thing that I'm not running. But co my core is almost. Hi, Craig. Who are you? Open door. <laughs> Close door. Hey, a hand up. Go away! Get away! Oh, you aren't one of them. You scared me. Careful out there. You're back. Uh, need anything? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do I look okay to you? Just tell him that. You ain't wrong. It's been a craft day. I'm Craig from Foundation. And I think I'm the only one left. We saw the nasty weather kicking up down here and, and thought it'd be worth checking out. See if anyone needed help. Didn't make it far down the road before we got jumped by, by something. I panicked and, and ran. <sighs> You're serious? Did you hear what I just told you? Well, better you than me, I suppose. Actually, if you're going out there anyway, would, would you mind doing me a favor? As you head down Skyline Drive, could you check if there are any signs of what happened to my friends? A, a trail, a, a body, a personal effects. 
Anything I could use to, to find them or report back at Foundation? Who knows? Maybe even a survivor. Not asking you to do much, just to drop a flare nearby. I can investigate them once the storm calms down a bit. Okay. Thank you. So much. Anyway, just take the flares. If you happen upon anything or, or anyone, just drop one. And if you come back after, I'll make it worth your while. And watch out for those uh, things. They may look like things, but they're not. And they're not friendly. Search for survivors along. We're going to have to backtrack, jeez. Okay. <sighs> Search for survivors here. Hope the storm passes soon. Okay, uh huh. Intelligence. Okay, so I'm in the objective area, so there's one. Are they in this angle? How big is this investigation? Help. <sighs> Leave this place. Go to a new place.
side investigation area. Side objective area. Now. Just have to do this before I do the uh, uh, continue the other one. Great. Okay. Well, that's just great. Uh. Okay. Gather personal effects now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going back up, jeez. Okay. I'm over in Cumber Creek. That's just dandy. Up I go. Personal effects. Camp Liberty. Okay, uh, personal fact. Yep. 
Liberty? Go the long way around, great. Freaking power station. Are you vicious dog or vicious wolf? Rather, uh, sledge. this Side effects are very good.
objective area so that means that the person need has to be around here somewhere Why is the entrance to the the okay? So I didn't need to go into this. Grenade. 
Oh, you kidding me. Well, this is Ace. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. I think there's only three left.
I already. that he has is really annoying. Find the stupid entrance to the vault. Intercom. Ah, a voice! Oh, yes. I remember <laughs> that voice. You're here! So, here's the situation. You need to get into the vault. I need to get out. This door isn't what? intended for easy access, so it'll require joint authorization from both sides to open. I'm on this side and authorized. You're on that side, and not authorized. But no worries. I've got a plan. Huh? All of the Lost were once members of the Vault, and should have authorization. You just need to get a hold of a hand and scan it. Easy peasy. That's right. Just a bit of post-mortem amputation, and we'll be set. Just scan the hand once you've uh. got it. I'll be on standby. Promise. Okay. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Anyway, I gotta run, but I'll be back. Scan a hand. Bye. Stop. What? <laughs> uh huh. What happened?
to your hand, crap. From a corpse. Use hand sanitizer. <laughs> ew. Ew, 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 ew. Ew. Ow. Yeah, this is definitely a vault. Atrium. How? <coughs> Why? Why is this so hysterical? I'm. Yep, you're a girl. Oh, good, you're here, and you're not lost. I assume. If you are, say so, because that would be a major breakthrough. Uh. Sure, I'm a ghoul, and you're not lost. Glad we got that straightened out. Ah, good! Well, bit of a downer, actually. Got my hopes up for a second, but I digress. Anyway, I'm Hilda, Hilda Stoltz. Hi, I'm head of the organic sector, which is exactly where I'm about to run off to. But don't worry, my Uncle Hugo is very eager to meet you. Just down the hall! In the overseer's office, as he is the overseer. Oh, and I've disabled the two-step lock, so coming and going should be easier now. Anyway, like I said, Uncle Hugo, down the hall. Diddaloo! Okay. Down the hall. Supplies are starting to dwindle a little. Stockpile for uh, uh. Uh, you're coming. Better come when. My niece told me to expect you. And do not mind my appearance. I can assure you I mean no harm. Can the same be said of you, though, outsider? Do you intend to harm us? You don't say. Do I act as one, though? No, I thought not. Where are my manners? I did not mean to be so standoffish. You are a most welcome guest here. I cannot be too careful. It has been a long time since we've spoken with anyone from the surface. Ah, fascinating. Is that the faint clicking of a pip boy I hear? How grand. A colleague from another paradise below the ground. Vault 76, I take it? What a pleasant surprise. Wunderbar. Kiss me, Nina. We are having fun now, aren't we? Listen, my new friend. Regardless of what uh... pretenses my dear niece may have brought you here with, I believe I can repay you for your effort. No catch. Just... Opportunity. As you may have ventured to guess on your trip here, our beloved Shenandoah has seen better days. Less stormy days. I'm in the midst of trying to get this under control, but our vault is still in a bit of a state of shock. If you'd be willing to engage in a bit of freelance work, I'm sure I can provide plenty of payment in kind. Fantastic. I'm pleased to hear it. Perhaps I should introduce myself to assuage any hesitation you have. I am Hugo Stolz, 
Overseer of Vault 63, yes, but also a principled man of business from the world of yore. Founder and CEO of Stolz Enterprises, respected member of Vault Tech's board of directors, and overall international man of mystery. Allow me to formally welcome you to Vault 63 as our, let's say, outside consultant. Yes, that'll do perfectly. Huh. Oh, please. Hugo is just fine. Now, I'm sure you have many questions, so I would expect no less, but I promise your first task will help to answer much. Speak with our Chief of Security, James T. Oberlin, and fetch me his latest situation report. I'd like to have him vet you a bit before we proceed any further. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer questions for you about our current predicament while you're at it. <laughs> You'll do splendidly, I'm sure. What the actual heck is going on? This way? What are you planning, Stoltz? Been expecting you. James T. Oberlin, Chief of Security, Vault 63. Formerly United States Army. Ordinarily, an outsider would report directly to the security offices. But as you've seen, Mr. Stoltz isn't fond of ordinary. How exactly did you end up on our doorstep, outsider? And you were able to dispose of them? Interesting. Must mean you have some combat training. That could be helpful. Well, considering I'm entirely lacking any sort of credentials or background on you, perhaps you can fill me in on your history. At least you're honest. Mr. Stoltz buzzed me ahead of your arrival and filled me in on the situation. Sorry for the test, but wanted to see how you present yourself. I appreciate your attempt to take this seriously, but I won't say I don't have my doubts. Let's see how this plays out, though. Here's my status report for Mr. Stoltz. You're dismissed. Unless you have other questions. These jumpsuits don't leave much room for expression. Been expecting you. James T. Oberlin, Chief of Security, Vault 63. Formerly United States Army. Ordinarily, an outsider would report directly to the security offices. But as you've seen, Mr. Stoltz isn't fond of ordinary. How exactly did you end up on our doorstep, outsider? I'm asking the questions, outsider. We can address your queries once I've completed my interview. Now again, how did you end up here? And yet you ended up here. Well, considering I'm entirely lacking any sort of credentials or... Mr. Stolt, so, I, here's my step.
Че, бе? question for you. Tell me, are we our brains? Are you, the person standing in front of me, simply a brain? Or are we more? Consciousness, perception, encoding and the formation of memories, to take the observable world and sculpt from it a translation of ourselves, of others, and in the eyes of others, how many versions of us exist? Endless research, and science, and discoveries, and new mysteries. Ah, uh, of course. I miss how it We've only just before. met. I apologized. You have the spirit of an old friend about you. I've forgotten there's much new ground to tread between us. I may have failed to mention this before, but I am, or was, blind. Born that way. After the incident that left me in... this state, I became able to truly see the world. Well, perhaps it's more accurate to say, I feel the world. Pulses of electricity, waves bending and refracting, gentle hums of life vibrating shapes into being. This world I see. I share it with the lost. I live as they do, yet I remain myself. Perhaps more myself than I was before. But others were lost to it, and to us. Friends, colleagues, loved ones. When they witness this world, they're minded. Well, I suppose I cannot explain what their mind perceives, just as one could never explain sight. We have been trying to learn why this connection was permanently severed between us. Desperately so. I appreciate your condolences. It has been a very long time since I've spoken to someone who doesn't share this grief with me. All of this is to say we need your help, my friend. There are many problems at our feet, and you are uniquely equipped to help us. Thank you. That truly means the world to me. Let's discuss next steps. There's two sets of investigations I'd have you undertake. Your new friend Oberlin can fill you in on one and I'd be happy to walk you through the other. Take a moment to relax and process. Speak with either of us when you're ready to hear the details. And once again, I cannot contain my excitement in having you on board. Willkommen im Team, mein Freund. Okay. The level over here. It's a shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up a little. some help over here okay 